Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. And in this video, we will be moving forward with the third topic of basis of classification, right? So we have made three videos so far of the animal kingdom. The first one, including the introduction. The second and third, we have covered the basis of classification. The first two points, that is the level of organization, right? And second, the germ plan, right? The germ layers. Okay, so the germ layers and the level of organization they have been covered as the first and the second point of the basis of classification. Now we will be moving forward with the third one that is the body plan, right? That means how the body is planned of a particular organism, right? How is the planning done inside the body so that the processes can take place safely and correctly, right? So let's get started now. So on the basis of body plan beta, body plan is of three types, right? The first one is cellular aggregation, cellular aggregation. The third one, second one is blind sac, blind sac. And the third one is tube within tube. What is it? Tube within tube. Make sure that you are noting down each and every point. If you can't find it in your NCRT, make sure that you are not noting down all these points in your rough copy or your practice copy. Right? So that when you study this chapter or you revise this chapter, you have all the points made up. You can just give it a read and go quickly with the chapter. Right? So it will be very simple. Right? Now we will be talking about the cellular aggregation. That is, only the cells are present inside this body, right? Just the cells are present. Cells are only performing. Aggregates of cells are present. That is, cell aggregates are present inside the body. Are present inside the body. This is known as Cellular aggregation, that means just the cells are present inside the body. Now, can you tell me the phylum in which only these cells are present? So, example you can say Polyphera. Right? What is the other name of Polyphera? They are also known as sponges. Okay? They are also known as sponges. So, Polyphera is the perfect example of cellular aggregation. Now let's come to blind sac. What do you understand by blind sac, beta? I will be writing the points here for the blind sac. So blind sac means, beta, only one opening is there. Only one opening is there. Other one is closed. Just like in our body, we have two openings. First the mouth and the second the anus. Right? So other one is closed. Fine. So, only one opening acts as both mouth and anus. Both mouth and anus. Okay. That means from a single pore. That means from a single opening only the entry and exit takes place. The entry and the exit takes place through one opening. Through one opening. Got it? So body plan is of three types. Cellular aggregation, blind sac and tube within tube. So cellular aggregation, so the cell aggregates are only present inside their body. That means it is present in case of porifera, which is also called as sponges. Simple. Then second comes blind sac. What is the meaning? Only on only one opening is there, the other one is closed. A single opening is present. Right? Now it is acting as both mouth and anus. Fine? The entry and the exit beta. It takes place through one opening only. Anything which is entering the body, anything which is exiting the body has only one opening to come and go from. Right? 
So this type of body plan beta, it is present in, I am writing the examples, tenophora, cilantrata, and platy elements. Platy elements. Okay? And this type of structure beta, it is just like a pot. It is a pot-like structure. Only one entry and exit point. Just like a pot. Matki desi shape. Right? The earthen pots. They are shaped like this. So in the similar manner, the blind sac is shaped like this. Right? Now next comes tube within a tube. Okay? For example, beta, you must have seen a pen. Right? A simple ball pen. Okay? So what happens in a ball pen? Some ball pens, they have a white outer covering. Inside the refill is present. Some pens, they have a transparent outer covering and inside there is a tube. Okay, so I am drawing it here. For example, this is a pen. Okay, and here comes the refill. Okay, so it is a tube within tube. Okay, so tube, tube within tube body plan is somewhat of this type. That means there is a tube inside a tube. So this is known as the body and the inner one is known as the elementary canal. It is known as the elementary canal. Fine. So body, the outer one, it is also a tube and tube within tube. That means a tube is present inside a tube which is the elementary canal like a ball pen or this pen. I have a marker. This is the body. In this, the problem is I cannot see the inside portion, right? But when you open it, you take out the refill, right? What will you see? You will see that there is a rounded tube structure inside this pen. So this type of structure beta is called as tube within tube, right? Now, in tube within tube, what happens? Two openings are there. What are there? Two openings are there. One is mouth, other one is anus, other one is anus, okay? One is mouth and the other one is anus, fine? Now examples, it can start from ash ke helmets up to Chordata. Up to means the phylums present between uh, uh, Ashke helminths and Chordata, they will all be coming in this category. Okay. Now what happens with a tube within tube is further divided into two groups. I will have to clean the board. So just wait for a minute. Okay. I will be explaining you tube within tube in a very easy manner. Just a second. Make sure you are noting down each and every point beta. Make sure. Because these points might not be given in the book. You might not find them in some other books. If you find them, well and good. If you don't find them, you must note them down. So that in case when your exams are nearby and you are trying to study this chapter, it will make your task easy. Fine? So make sure you are noting down each and every point. Fine? So I was talking about beta. Tube within tube body plan. Okay, just a second. So, in tube within tube beta, I have already told you that the tube within tube body plan is basically divided, or you can say this, it is subdivided into two groups. What are the two groups? Protostomes, protostomes and deuterostomes, protostomes and deuterostomes, okay. So protostome and deuterostomes are the two groups in which what happens? The tube within tube body is present. So what happens? 
the protostome and deuterostomes are the two subdivisions of tube within tube okay and remember tube within tube body plan has two openings the mouth and the anus okay now what are we talking about first you will say ma'am these are such difficult words how do we learn them break it up into two parts simple so proto means first okay first stone means mouth here deutero means second stone means mouth simple first mouth second mouth right now i'll be explaining you what is the meaning protostome deuterostome now what happens with the when we talk about i had already told you first what happens fertilization ke baad kya banta hai zygote is formed then two cell stage is formed and four cell stage eight cell stage then blastula and then gastrula right so these are the stages so what happens beta in the gastrula stage when we are talking about the gastrula stage there is a opening in the gastrula stage what is that opening called opening in the gastrula stage is called as the blastopore blastopore i am very sorry for the portion which is coming here the reflection which is coming here you might not be able to see that is why i will repeat the spelling or i'll write it here the opening in the gastrula stage is called as the blastopore okay the blastopore now what happens beta blastopore is the opening okay so from this opening in the gastrula stage the cells keep on moving inside the cells keep on dividing and they keep on moving inside right so what happens blastopore is responsible for the formation of mouth and the anus right so i am writing it here blastopore is the pore that is responsible for the formation of mouth and ends so blastopore is the pore beta which is present in the gastrula stage and what happens for example this is the whole structure and this is the pore so from this pore the cells will keep on moving inside okay for example this is the gastrula stage and this is the pore so from here the cells keep on moving inside so this pore will be responsible for the formation of mouth as well as the anus so in some cases the blastopore forms the mouth first so those organisms they will be coming in the category of protostomes that means when blastopore forms the mouth first it forms the mouth first it will be called as protostomes and the anus second it will be called as a protostome and what happens in this case when blastopore is forming anus first and mouth second it is called as the deutero stomes okay so the phylums which are coming in the category so tube within tube beta kis mein hoti hai it is in ashkelmens up to chordata right so ashkelmens examples of protostome ashkelmens is also called as what nematoda okay so from nematoda 
to mollusca sorry to annelida arthropoda and mollusca will come in the category of protostoma and the remaining ones that is echinodermata hemichordata and chordata so they will be coming in the category of deuterostomes okay so tube with a tube is further divided into two categories protostomes and deuterostomes on the basis of what blastopore is forming first if the blastopore is forming the first mouth that means the anus will be the secondary one formed and the mouth will be the first one so what will happen it is falling in the category of protostomes example will be nematoda annelida arthropoda and mollusca and if we talk about deuterostomes when you break it up into two parts it will be second mouth that means the first one will be the anus to be formed and the second one will be the mouth so when the blastopore forms the first anus and second mouth it is called as deuterostomes example will be echinodermata hemichordata and chordata very simple so body plan three parts it is divided into blind sac cellular aggregation and tube within tube examples and explanation all of it is given on the board you can note down each and every point if there is any problem you can put down in the comment section right in the next video we will be moving forward with the coelom part right that will be the fourth category of the basis of classification fine right? so till then beta stay tuned for the next video make sure you are liking sharing and subscribing to my channel sharing the video as much as possible and i hope to see you guys in the next video till then take care